Okay, so let's do a top-down analysis on this ripple trade I just entered. <clears throat> All right, so starting on the four-hour, uh, we're in a current downtrend right now. You tell because push downs are impulses, consolidations are pullback, push down impulse. Now we got the pullback retrace. All right, so if we check our fib, point A here. Do point B here, kind of in the middle of where all these wicks are. All right, let's see that point B in the middle of all these wicks touch. All right, we have a full 78.6 retrace, <clears throat> and it also uh, turns around at this resistance area. All right, two, two confluences. All right, so now we can zoom in. Take it down to the 30 minutes, see what we see. All right, so on this 30 minute, we have this uptrend here with higher highs, higher lows. Higher highs, higher lows. And uh, once, sorry. that low was broken. All right, it was broken here. It came back up for his retest. Now it's pushing down. <clears throat> All right, so once this higher low is broken, we're no longer looking for buys. Now we're looking for sales. We got a huge engulfing right here. If I was on the charts a little earlier, I would have saw that and entered right there. And it's right there. That would have been a perfect entry, but uh, didn't catch that one, so. I'll show you where I'm going to get got in on this one. Go down to the 15 minute. Yeah. So, <clears throat> this purple line was a level of support right here. And once it broke through that support, came back up and retested. And once it retested here, this, support, this resistance, I mean, and this blue AMA, which is a dynamic uh, support resistance. I ended there. I placed a, a sell right here. It was a, a confidence trade, right? Um, on this time frame, let's go five minutes. See. Yeah, so once you saw this bearish engulfing right here, that'd be a five minute entry, which is the same as the entry I got. Okay, so on this 15 minute, we got our cross for sale momentum. All right, so if you look up here and see what happened when you got the cross for sale momentum, you got a huge push down. Looking for the same thing. Let's go on a 30 minute time frame, see where you got our cross. 30 minute time frame, it's been crossed up here. Been crossed. Boom. We got that hard push down. Uh, do it. This EMA is still spaced out, so that's a lot of momentum down. And a one hour is crossed up here, also. Let's go to the four hour. Once we get, <clears throat> if we get a cross on this four hour, that's going to be huge momentum. Higher time frame, higher confirmation. Two hour, just cross. Just cross on two hours, so that looks good. Now, let me go back. For TP, now, for quick intraday scalp type, this is what this is for, okay? Because on a smaller time frame, that's your point A. Go back, start even it. Yeah, that's point A, that's point B. Let's see why. Point A, point B, point C at 50% pretty much. So if you wanted to get a quick scalp in, take it to here. But overall, 
see where I have it going. Overall, on a higher time frame. At least to that support area. All right, that support area lines up with our negative 27%. So all in all, you expect it to be this. Impulse. Impulse, flag. And now we want another impulse. Okay, new low, low. All right, so go high time frame, keep it simple. That's what we're looking for. Impulse flag, impulse flag. Need another impulse. <clears throat> Down. This could be any of these fits could be your TPs. Um, and this could be an extended TP down here. But I'm looking at it for a thing. It hits this 4386 level. Impulse. Let's go.